Hi and welcome to a brand new video and today we are going to understand what are error handling and how we can do error handling in JavaScript. So basically you need to understand four important keywords that is the try, then we have the catch, then we have the finally and last but not the least is the throw method. So these are some of the important thing which helps us to do a proper error handling in whatever language you want. So the syntax is pretty much very easy. Here we try to solve some equations and then if we have some errors in that, that errors are caught over here. Okay. So this is how we try to solve each and everything in this JavaScript. So let's do one thing. Let's take a short example where I can then show you what we want to do in this. Okay. So uh, let's do uh, make an example. Try to make one example. Okay. So now we have where something known as where x is equal to 10. Okay, we have this variable where we have assigned the value of x is equal to 10. Okay, now what we are going to do, we are going to do is if x mod 2, or uh, let's, uh, okay, if x mod 2 is equal to 0, okay, if x modes 2 is equal to 0, then what I want to do, I want to do, uh, let's say, console.log find number. Okay. And here, if there is an error, I will do console.log whatever error is there. Let's try to fulfill this thing. Let's do a reload and we got a fine number. Now let's do it with 11. We don't get anything as such in this. Okay. We are not getting anything as such in this. But now let's try to do one more thing. Okay. Now uh, let's say I'm having this 11. And now let's try one more thing. Here, I try to do x dot, okay, and what we learned in the uh, numerical section, I'm trying to give it a precision of 500, okay, otherwise, I catch the error and I will try to get the name of that error. Let's do this thing and I get the range error and uh, if I try to uh, reload this, okay, if I try to reload this, now I get something as to precision argument must be between 1 and 100 at number precision anonymous function. Okay. And this also gives me a line number where I have 9 is to 5. That is the 9 is to 5. 5 is the column, but 9 is the, your row name. So like this, I have some errors. But let's see if I don't have this catch block, then what will happen? Okay. Then uh, let's say. Okay. Let me just try to remove this and now try to reload this. You see, I have now a uh, console error. So to avoid this thing, we can handle this error using a catch block where I can now see what the issue is there. And if there is still the issue and still there is an issue, we can do one more thing. Okay. Uh, we just try to console this or we can do pro error dot name. Okay, we can do this as well. So you see, we are now throwing one error, which is uncaught range error. Or we can do one more thing, throw error while setting precision to x. Okay. And when we try to uh, reload this, you see we get a message what we want to show in the console. So anything regarding this, you can just do if your thing is uh, succeeding, then it's absolutely fine. If I do a 5 over here, 
then definitely I will be able to uh, console log this x. Just let me here. Let's do a reload. You see, uh, I can uh, see this thing, or let's do a response. This and now let's try to console log this thing, and I get whatever value I'm doing, or else if I by mistaken. I do some wrong things in, inside this, then I will be again getting the error. Okay. Again, I will be getting this error. Or let's take one more example now, shall we? So, another example is like, let me show you. I have one uh, example where let's say x is equal to 5. Okay. And now I'm trying one thing that x is equal to y plus. 1 times 2 okay and i'm now going to catch some error catch error whatever error is there and just throwing that error whatever error is there i'm just trying to throw that thing i get y is not defined that's exactly my point i don't have any y so that's why i'm getting this error and let's say, say now i have some y which is set to a 10 okay so now I can just uh, console dot log this x value. Yeah, I'm getting that value. But let's say this was not y, this was a z thing. So I can do a error dot name. I can just try to prove that there is a reference error. So this reference error is another issue what I am now facing. So you see how we can use try, catch, throw, and there is one more thing. Okay, there is one more thing to it. We can do a find log. Finally, console log equal to and when there is a final block, final block will be there, but again, uh, throw error will also work. And let me show you one more thing. If we just try to console log the error name, let me show you this block as well. You will get the error and the final block. That means the catch error and the final block definitely works, but this try has try will only work when your logic is correct. So at that moment only this will work. And this is what error handling basics are there in JavaScript. I hope you get the point of error handling in javascript these were the fundamentals in the next video we are going to learn more about arrays i hope you are prepared for that video as well so definitely be motivated and i will see you in the next one